out here the first two hours of my day, I don't have to worry about like all the stress and the hustle and bustle of like the city. I just wake up and I'll go fix myself some breakfast and just pack up my gear and then wait and see how the day holds so I'm not like in a rush. Bikepacking is absolutely the perfect speed to experience nature because you're going slow enough to where you can enjoy everything around you. You can look up and look at the mountains and the vistas, but you can look down right in front of your tire and look at the rocks, or you can look at the cacti and every, you know, little animals that are scurrying by. So you, you have the opportunity to like experience all of that. So I just found a fossil. Um, I was just biking along right back there and I looked down um, and it was right to the left of my tire. I like really love learning natural history of places so this is cool because like all of this used to be underwater. So I get excited when I find stuff like this because it's like, you know, relics of that different time period when Big Ben looked a lot different than it does now. We started off where the blue bonnets were alongside the highway, like we saw them before we were even entering into Big Bend State Park. And so it's really cool to start, you know, off the highway, just like where the blue bonnets did, and we see what they go through. Like, we follow the river down and we know where they land. I'm not going to sit down and write about the copper colored jagged rock that meets the earth where it crumbles into the runoff from Madrid Falls. And I mean, that's been written and you can go over the top and nobody really wants to read that at this point. I'm more interested in how the land affects the people and the people that love it and what it means to them. On Monday, I fell 17 times. <laughs> and then on Tuesday, I fell eight times. <laughs> and then on Wednesday, I fell six times. Oh, I didn't even know that was there. Some blood. <laughs> then today, we're not three, but I've only fallen once. So I'm pretty proud of myself. And it was in gravel, so it was like a nice soft landing, like landing in like feathers. A year from now, I think I definitely will remember the friendships I've made here. It's just crazy, like, how much fun <laughs> this whole group is. Also, this is super hard. <laughs> so it's not First time to charm! It was like, it's like, here's the trail, here's Cody. <laughs> yes, the pain of the riding and the, the exhaustion of the riding will go and fade away and into memory, but the thing that'll stick the most is I think the people and the stories and the friends you, you meet on the way. This morning we were all the way over there on the other side of that mountain right there. We've gone a little over 20 of the worst miles that we've done the whole trip. Sick nasty. Sick nasty bro. But man, it's a lot of fun. And this view right here is just, this is the best one that I've had so far. I'm tearing up right now. This is just huge and like, oh this is awesome. It's fantastic. When I look out into this, that's when I kind of realize, like, this is what we've been given, and this is something that you have to go out and seek. Like, you have to work for something like this. You can't. You can't just walk out your front door and see this. Mm -hmm.